everybody, I'm Jay, and here are reviews by Mob.org. Okay, come on. Making games based on film seems to be the order of the day now, so it is not surprising that today we'll talk just about this kind of game. Its main character is not a simple hero. He is a superhero. Welcome, Superman! He is one of the oldest comics heroes, or the oldest. Isn't he at least a grandfather by now? I'm Super Grandpa! And he's definitely one of the strongest. But his suit always has made me mad. The film has become an attempt to restart the Superman franchise and start everything from scratch. As we all know that all the previous movies about Clark Kent are now worthless. About the plot in short, as usual, Clark's native Krypton is ruined and his parents sent him on a one-way trip to Earth. He crash lands on Ma and Pa Kent's farm, who then take it upon themselves to raise this alien baby that looks totally human. The boy grows up, of course. The novelty of the game is the world weariness that the poor experiences he has because of his flying ability, invulnerability, and ability to kick everybody's ass. Without a doubt, it is a worthy thing to be upset about. And once he finds his magic underwear, I mean his super suit, the Earth is attacked by evil forces and the action begins. Well, let's dig into the game. About the main menu. It was quite trendy and beautiful. I really like the menu here. At the very beginning, we can see three save slots. Choose one and get started. Two game modes and an upgrades page are waiting for you inside. It's not difficult to guess what skills we can upgrade, the character's characteristics and suit. All the upgrades can be bought for experience points, which you get for completing missions. You can also unlock quite funny looking suits, wearing which makes Clark Kent look decent and even brutal. About survival mode. As you can guess, you'll have to survive this. Big surprise! That is to stand as long as possible and beat as many enemies as you can. Besides, there are tasks or achievements, whatever you want to call them. Things you have to do, essentially. In short, you'll have to launch into the sky, or destroy an object in flight, or destroy as many surrounding buildings with your enemy as you can. We'll talk about the destruction a little later. So now let's switch over to gameplay. The first mission is a tutorial, of course. They show us who Superman is and how he came to this point in life in case someone didn't know. Well, fights go on then. The game itself is a fighter and slasher style. Cool mixture of genres, but to my mind, something is missing here. It seems to be a free movement and diversity game in general. You must remember the game called Xeno Clash. It was also a fighting game combined with a slasher. That didn't prevent it from being a shooter too. You could freely move about the levels there. Here you simply stand still, but Superman can fly. What's up with that? A couple of words about control. The dodge buttons are located in the lower ends of the screen. Superman dives under the blows of enemies and turns around him by shifting his position. Tap to make blocks. Enemy attacks do you a little harm though, but life is taken away much slower when you do. You can make blows with swipes. There are a lot of blows from different sides and positions as well as different combos. After a series of blows, you can let the alien have it with a double force attack. And this is what makes me glad in the game. The enemy bounces back and crumples buses and breaks through walls and buildings with his body. Then he scrambles out of the hole and attacks you again. It looks quite epic. You can also toss the enemy up in the air and then hit him in flight. Then it's also very funny. Let's sum it up. Pluses. Good graphics. The game is made on the Unreal Engine though. Dynamic battles. Enemy tossing. And a beautiful menu. And minuses. First, the game retells the movie plot, so you cannot wait for unexpected twists of the plot. Second, there is almost nothing in the game except for the dynamic fights, and you get bored with it when playing the third or fourth mission. The game is good as a time killer, though it's nothing extraordinary overall. It's up to you to decide whether you want to play it or not. That's all for today. Put like to the video clip. It can't like itself, you know. This was Jay, for reviews by Mob.org. Bye-bye!